In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create FIR low pass filters in Collimator. So we begin by creating a bunch of signal blocks, um, cosine and sine waves. I'm going to create um, five of them and combine all of these to an adder block. Then we're going to treat the topmost cosine block as our signal, give it a frequency of 10 for source signal, and then 200 for the sine below it, 100 below that, uh, 250 for one below that, and 300 for the last one. Then we're going to combine all this to a quantizer in order to digitize the signal, make it easier to filter. Yeah. We're going to give it a low interval so that we don't lose too much of our signal when we quantize it. And here we can take a look and see that our filter block, while it does filter somewhat, it doesn't filter well, and that's because we don't have our coefficients. So we're gonna begin solving for those in our notebook. So we're gonna start by creating a new notebook name it whatever you want and then we begin by importing what we're going to use import collimator for our model numpy and scipy for computation and signal processing and pylab to view our, our plots and so we call the model we just created um, send it to signal model and then we define our sample rate as well as our number of samples and these we get directly from our model um, stop time and uh, discrete clock time. We then assign the results of the simulation to our sound variable and combine the, um, the different uh, axes, the time and the signal, making sure to reshape our signal so that it's a one-dimensional um, array with NumPy's reshape. Um, and the signal is drawn from the quantized block. And then what we're going to do is use FreeQZ to, um, to view our frequency response for our signal, our noisy signal. We can see that we have a peak at 10 at 100 at 200 250 and 300 just like all the five signals we created and so now we begin designing the filter uh, defining defining all the variables we'll need um, putting the width um, of the pass to stop as well as the NYQ rate We then define our cutoff frequency at 10 hertz because we want to keep the 10 hertz and cut off every other signal because there's a low pass filter and then we assign the coefficients of this filter to the variable taps using Furwin. We assign it uh, giving it our order for our filter our cutoff in the window. Defining our pass as low pass and then we filter our signal signing it to filtered signal Now we look at the frequency response of our filter using the same FreeQZ um, function and we plot that. 
so we can take a look to see how efficient our filter is. Yep, and as we can begin to see, the, the low frequency is below 10 pass and the frequency after 10 with the width of the pass band being around 5 hertz and so we paste our new tap values onto the filter and as we can see after an initial delay we get the filtered signal. 